All right, 1141 right now, you know, Valentine's Day, not always a happy affair. 12 years ago on this date, a jury was deliberating the fate of Ryan Widmer and his drowned bride. A woman who knows a thing or two about this very high profile case, Janice High Soul joining us right now. Great to have you here. And her book, by the way, Submerged, is uh, what was all about that story. But you have a fourth book coming out, which is this big old manuscript right here. Before we get to what was happening with Widmer, tell me about your latest project right there, because that sounds like it has, as you were saying, as many twists and turns as this story. Actually, it does, but you notice the cover's blank. So I it is. have to keep things kind of under wraps still, because I wrote this on behalf of a client. I'm telling this woman's life history and her two decade battle for justice. So it's a kind of a combination of true crime and biography. It's actually a memoir. And honestly, the things this woman went through in her life, it is absolutely riveting. We had some test readers who read it. Some of them finished it in a day. Oh, wow. Like one of those books you can't put down, you gotta burn right through it. Yeah. Okay, this is exciting. Uh, Janice, by the way, I did say your last name correctly, Heisel, right? Yes. I was pronouncing it very Germanly earlier, Hisla, but it is high soul, right? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about your new book is coming out. Where can we find this once it's out? Is it for public viewing? Oh, yes. When this uh, comes out, it'll be on Amazon. It'll be, you know, all the normal places where people can find books. So we'll have to come back and let you know about that when we can tell all the secrets. When there's a title and a cover. Okay, so we'll take a look at this one also. I'll hold the book up and then we can look at it. This was your original book uh, back in the day. I can't believe we're talking about this. That The anniversary of Sarah Widmer's death would be this summer. That would make it 15 years, but on Valentine's Day, back, uh, what, 12 years ago or so, a jury was deliberating his fate. You say there are details in this book that were never ever entered in court. Why? Well, <laughs> what happened when you have a big case like this, there are thousands and thousands of pages of documents that the lawyers are trying to go through. And it's easy to overlook something. And there's no such thing as a perfect trial. In fact, a person's not entitled to a perfect trial. They're just entitled to a fair trial. Right. Now, Ryan's Widmer's lawyers are saying that his trial was not fair. But what happened, he wrote a statement that was never entered into evidence because he never testified. Communication problem he had a little bit. So you said he sort of talked in, like he sort of would say one thing and like sort of backtrack what he was saying to make his point. Not really a stutter, but it was an issue that could have affected his credibility on the stand. Absolutely, that's what his lawyers told me. After I spoke with him, I noticed it and I realized this is why they're saying he would not have been a good witness. Because he would not have been believable to a jury. Now, some people actually say, well, maybe that's a sign that you're guilty. So, you know, that's, that's another argument, another way of looking at that. But I found that to be the case, even when he was talking about things that weren't related to the crime he was charged with. Okay, would you say that the information in the book from what was not admitted at trial, could that have changed the outcome for Ryan? Possibly. Now, here's the key, though. What I found in that statement that Ryan Widmer wrote right after his young bride drowned was about walking on her tippy toes as she went to take her bath. Now, that isn't a normal behavior. Right. And in looking at some of the disorders that were suspected for her because of her bouts of sleepiness, I found one of them, one of the first signs can be partial paralysis of the feet and legs. Now, isn't that interesting when you put it together with the tippy toes? Now, she was never tested before she died or, or afterwards. Or seizure or anything like that? For these disorders that were suspected. Mm -hmm. Now, some people say that, you know, those tests weren't necessary because they think there was enough evidence to show that she was drowned. Okay, real quickly, uh, do you, have you spoken to him recently? When was the last time you had contact? What did he say? Talked to Ryan about a week ago. I still wow. stay in touch with him. Um, and we just talked mostly about current events now. I just told him I want to stay in touch with him. So if, if there finally is something happening with one of his appeals, which the last action was 2017, I still want to have that contact. Okay, very good. Janice Heisel, where can we find more out about you online? So I have my own website, which is Janice Heisel, J-A-N-I-C-E-H-I-S as in Sam, L-E dot com, or the book is actually available on Amazon. Gotcha. The book is called Submerged. Janice, thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to hear about the new book as well. we got to take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you.